All right, welcome back, everyone. We are in Sniffelheim, and we are about to search out a wicked witch that I'm pretty sure is inside the city and not where we've been told to go. With her and her weirdly giggling only person not frozenness. Uh, yes, thank you, Rainbow. We're quite aware of that. But it seems we won't find out the truth until we go there. And if any one of these people in this party goes, ha ha, I knew it. I'm going to call them liars because if they suspected it and said nothing, they're horrible friends. Anyway. Where's my map? There's the map. Okay, so does it matter which way we go? Well, we'll head up this way first and see what we come to. Since it's right here. Oh! My horse might not want to go in here. Well, surprised he came this far. Alright, well. My horse has gotten brave. So this is... Oh, we have an inn on this side. Ah, the Hexwood is up there. Okay, well, we're close enough. Check out this inn, see what's going on. Uh, no bears, please. No bears. Why is the fire outside? Excuse me, dear. Thank you for guarding it. Super cool! Oh my god. I learned how to make super cool stuff. Excuse sir, why do you have a fire going on outside? I just, you have two fires in here. Well, I know the way to the Hexwood, indeed I do. Just head west out of the cabin and follow the path around to the north. I don't know why you would want to visit such a place. If you are resolved to go, be very, very careful. It is highly dangerous. Well, you got a big old bear hanging out outside this uh, little place, so... I don't know, I think we're okay. I feel like I should kind of explore... Uh, okay. Sorry if you guys could hear that. Uh, cat and dog are playing, and they do so very loudly sometimes. They happen to have come right in here. Alright. We're gonna ignore these bears for now. What's this say? Entrance to the Hexwood is forbidden on the grounds of public safety. It's probably for bears. Oh, fine. The horse won't come into the woods, huh? Spooked, I see. Uh, soldier? Hello? What in the world is Sophilian doing here? This force is extremely dangerous. I'd advise you to leave immediately. What am I doing here? I'm a soldier from here, of course. We were dispatched to investigate why all contact with Sniffleheim had been lost. It seems the city was frozen by an evil witch, and she and her monstrous protector are at large somewhere in this forest. Why, which is why you shouldn't be here. Oh, you're so helpful for an enemy. When the time comes, I won't kill you. I will, however, kill this guy. All right, weirdo, ugly platypie. Oh yeah. 
Now that's rude. Hmm. Might start using um Veronica. She's not as bad good of she's not a healer though. Okay, I gotta hold on for one second. Game will resume. I just realized that this is also playing out of my speakers. Okay, and things are back to normal. Oh, sorry about that. If things were weird or echoey at all, I can't really tell when the headphones are on. Score one for the good guys! Oh my god, so much experience! Okay. So, what is around this lovely little corner? Sparkly trees! Oh, uh, cool! I found a frozen branch. Excellent. Just what I've always been after. Well, this place doesn't seem all that bad. Oh boy. Uh, are you okay, sir? Are you okay? This is so cold. My squad were caught in a snowstorm, and before I knew it, I was all on my own. I hope they find me before that wicked witch does. Could there be a witch here, and I was wrong? It's very possible. But right now, I don't think so. Pretty sure that that lady was the witch. Excellent! More pockets full of snow. I'm well on my way to my goal of having extremely soggy pockets. Uh. Ow! Yes, that hurt so much. My goodness. Another day, another victory. Well, if we're just gonna go be getting some easy experience, then why not? Ow! I love you, Jade. Ah! Hey, onward. Whoa, oh, oh my. I'm a slidey. Is there anything around this corner? I'll be right back, sir. Excellent. More frozen stuff. Hello? We have traveled all the way from Heliodor to come to Sniffelheim's aid. The witch who froze the city is somewhere in this forest. If we can cut her down, it may break her spell. Unfortunately, our squad has become separated in this blasted blizzard. The commander is nowhere to be found. He is a knight beyond compare, but like all men of Heliodor, he feels the cold. Why must I be dragged to these bleak backwaters? I am the scion of one of the most noble houses of Heliodor. I knew it was a mistake joining the army. Only I'd ignored everyone's advice and followed the footsteps of my rake of a father. I could be sitting on a beach in Puerto Valor right now, watching the girls go by. I think I've met your father. I will happily kill you, sir. Hmm. 
Aw, they're dancing with each other. That's cute. <laughs> Everybody leave me alone. I'm busy sliding everywhere. I know you, don't I? I'm, I'm sure I've seen your face before. Yes, something about you is very familiar indeed, but I... I can't quite place it. Well, never mind. I have more important matters to be attending to at present, like finding a commander post-haste. Ooh. That to them. I probably will have to save your commander. I'm okay with that, so long as it isn't the creepy one. Who probably killed my whole village. That guy I don't like. Okay, I just got a star. Okay, come here. Ooh, it's an orc king. Should wear a crown or something. Make yourself at least look kingly, and not just, you know, blue. How dare you? Let the darkness consume you! Wow, that didn't do much. Okay. Ooh, minerals. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that's ooh a blue eye. Excellent. All of the orcs. All right. Oh. For a minute there, I thought it was going to actually be a random priest hanging out here. Luckily, that is not the case. Because I would I would have been I would have been very weirded out if there was just a random priest. Hanging out in the snow. Instead we are talking to statues. Not dressed for this weather. Um, crap. This is why you hold hands. Or tie ropes around yourselves. <laughs> um. Hello. Oh, hey. How you doing? You will not keep me from the witch beast. Yield. The dark spawn here. Yes. Oh, distracted. How could I be so foolish? It probably has something to do with that 
beard of yours. I know, it's somebody else with purple. Oh, crap. This is not good. I'm by myself. Uh, okay. Ow. Snowballs at me, dude. Uh. Well, I'm glad you're happy. I'm I'm actually afraid that what he's he's gonna hit me and he's gonna hurt a lot. I'm such a wimp. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Oh, I didn't see that it uh, decreased his defense. Oh, excellent. Okay, because you spent way too much time dancing around, sir. Ooh, as a nice lump of experience. You have served your mistress well, but your day is done. Aww, was that necessary? We just wanted to dance. Now it is your turn, Darkspawn. You will not escape me this time. Uh. <sighs> What is the meaning of this? <laughs> what a pleasure to finally meet you, Sir Hendrik. Huh? Oh, um, hello. Damn you, witch. Is this your doing? Nothing personal, my pretty. But I promised the one who released me that I'd freeze you in your tracks. Oh. So maybe she's not the witch. But she released her. What a lovely little trinket. It's just like his. We shall make such a captivating couple. Matching necklaces, no. What? Oh. More questions. You so-called heroes are nothing but talk. It's time to put you two on ice forever. No, thank you. Not if I have anything to do with it! Yay! Are you all right? Yes, I am, thank you. <laughs> Well now, Sir Hendrik, you'll be in charge of this party of foreign soldiers we heard about. The ones Queen Frisabel sent. <sighs> Leaving so soon? 
Sure you don't want to round us up and throw us in jail? Uh, Rab? You're not helping. Be quiet. Oh, I will. All in good time. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, why? Uh, uh, he's freezing cold. That spell must have really taken its toll. We passed a hut on the way here. Let's carry him there. We we did? Or is this the inn that we passed? Ah, oh, yes it is. Okay. Odd moments of first person. Well, that's nice. With all the fires in here, I'm sure this is in no way a hazard, but... Oh, hello. Ah, so you are finally awake. Are you feeling better, friend? No, I feel awful. Good, good. You have your companions to thank for that. Such caring comrades are a rare gift. Uh. Ah, but forgive me, I have not introduced myself. Did you sound a little less creepy? I am Snorri, His name scholar is Snorri? of the arcane arts. I came here to investigate the origins of the Wicked Witch, who froze Sniffleheim solid. It was luck, and luck alone, that caused me to be away from the city when she first appeared. Or I, too, would have been turned into an icy statue. Your friends tell me the Queen has asked you to eliminate the sorceress. If it will help you in your quest, I will be happy to share what I have learned. The witch's name is Kristalinda. Long ago, in the Age of Heroes, a mighty mage imprisoned her within the pages of an enchanted grimoire. Which is what the queen had in her hands. The book was hidden away safely in the royal library, an ancient archive built by the founders of Sniffelheim to house the combined knowledge of all humankind. Having learned this, I tried to go and see the book for myself. Alas, the library was swarming with monsters, and I was forced to retreat. Oh, hello. Up and about, are you? Thank goodness for that. Indeed. You are well on the way to recovery thanks to your young friend here. It is plain to see that Veronica cares for you very deeply. In it, Snorri. <laughs> <laughs> there is no need to be embarrassed, my dear. Anyway, your timing is perfect. I had just finished telling your friend all I had learned about the witch. I'll get straight to the point then. We're taking Snorri here back to the library so he can look for clues on how to beat her. It is high on a plateau to the east of here. But we must make our way around to the south before we can reach it. Shall we? Certainly. But we could just go back to the, uh... Castle, cause... That lady totally had a book. But he listens to me. Okay, so we have to go south. Apparently. Excuse me, excuse me, bear. Heroes got things to do. Wait a second, they're shiny. A face invader? All right then. Uh, we shall invade your face. Let the darkness consume you! 
victory! <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. So, he said we had to go south? South and then to get to the east? I don't know. No, we're good. Thank you. All right, and we are all good on the HP and everything front, so... Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, really? That doesn't work? Ah, You're so tiny. How could I not have run them over? you get for having your creepy drum. Not use them just yet. Go for the bump for the bump. What am I looking at here? That is a dragon. Uh, hope it's a nice dragon. the wrong way. The Royal Library is up there. I think I went the wrong way. Well. Oh well. We can all endure this big clankety clank running around. It's, it's awesome. Sorry, my beloved steed. Oh! I'm just, you know, not very observant is all the problem is. See if there's anything quickly over here. Apparently knocks snow off of trees. That's awesome. Clinkity clink. Uh oh, we got birds. Library. We. I don't understand the purpose of this thing, other than to just be fun. Although I wonder. Hold on. Let me check something. Ooh, well, let me check this treasure chest first. Nice. But I do wonder. Oh crap! Oh crap! No! 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 That's not. That's not what I wanted to do. And 
I was kind of hoping that there would be like a passageway that I could charge and knock like the pathway open. But no. Oh. Yay! Well, I, I can at the very least. But I didn't see one there. That's unfortunate. I know, I know. I'm taking forever. But I want to just double check. No. Okay. Just a shortcut down is what it is. Whip. great at first, but now the clanking was becoming kind of annoying. There is too much clank happening. Okay. Quick roundabout to check for treasure chests. little animals with hats on. I'm okay with this. We're looking for specific books, sir? I am an antagonist. I always knew. Okay, so that is shut. I can't get in there. Uh, pigs are having a fight. Awesome. Oh, okay. So I definitely need to be keeping an eye out. There, I see a book on a bookshelf, so... I don't want to miss anything. I don't like the way that guy's looking at me. Do it. You always gotta hit the mage. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. There's an ancient book. You can only make out a few words. Ye wizard's canticle. Book one. On the faded threadbare cover. But it's magically sealed. He can't read it. Really? Well, that's dumb. Who's magically sealing books in a library? Rude, if you ask me. Okay. Boy, helpful slime. Excuse me. Go away! 
You're the first Goomin to have visited this place in a long slime. Welcome to the Royal Library, home of the goriest, greatest collection of books in all of Erdria. Since you've come all this way, I'll tell you something really useful. This building's like a puzzle box. When you press the Goolwing switches, the walls and staircases spin around and you can go to different places. But first you've got to press this big green button next to me. That will activate the switches so you can actually ooze them. Once you've pressed this button, keep your eyes peeled for the other goo glowing green switches. There, there's one on this level that will open that way upstairs. Oh, I thank you, sir. Press the button. Ah, oh, their switches blink to life. We can use them now. Thank you, helpful slime. Okay, just keep it. Ooh, treasure. Also, gotta keep an eye out for usable books. Uh, and money. Why? That's lovely. Okay. okay. We got robot and weird statues. We've got... Go away. Ow. Thing fires missiles. Another day, another victory. Great guardian of the Hexwood. Ancient legends tell of a mighty and mysterious beast that lives deep within the heart of the Hexwood, a frozen forest on the Snarefelt Steppe. Many generations ago, the people of Stiffelheim worshipped this creature as their guardian spirit and would offer up their thanks for the bounteous blessings they believed it bestowed upon them. Was it what we fought? The delightful dancing monster. That's what we... That was the guardian of people. And we killed it. I knew it. We're horrible people. Cool. Now, was this the only button? Was there, there more than one? Was it just that one? And a little bit of a double check. Okay, I think it's just that one. Don't want there to be like a bazillion pathways that I'm not paying any attention to. Hello, shadow creature. What happens when you miss? I want healing for everyone. Okay, well, I'll just use it on Rab. We have not moment. done yet! Score one for the good guys! Okay, so we've got anything over here? No. Excuse me, pig. Bye, pig. That's a good pig. The ceiling of the serpent. Oh, that's the dragon! Long, long ago, in the frozen land of the north, there lived a great black serpent that terrorized the people of Sniffelheim. One day, a brave young man came forth and bested the dragon in battle. Having done so, he sealed it away in the ice of the frozen lake of the Snarefelt, such that it could never break free. 
But that great hero has long since passed away. Should the beast ever escape its icy prison, Sniffleheim will surely fall under its cruel gaze once more. It's like it's foreshadowing! Okay, nothing there. More fighting pigs. Heck, maybe they're not fighting. Maybe they're having a very interesting conversation. I don't know. Oh, but I can't read it. Oh, of course I can't. Who are you? Rectors? Well, they have very large maces, so I'm just going to assume that's how they plan on doing a lot of wrecking. afraid to hit that guy. Molt- ah. Ooh. Yes! That's what I've been wanting. Oh uh, yeah, let me look at who can do anything. Let me see what Eric can do. Dodge is increased. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Have 13 here. Ooh. And you. Okay. Enlightenment. What do we have here? Increases the effectiveness of spells. That could be good. I don't really care about strength. Increases magical might, though, I do like. And that is the say. Oh, mending. Oh. Do more damage or heal more. Let's go this route, considering this will give me more MP in the long run. The Worst Curse My story starts innocently enough. I was walking through the forest one day when I came across a legger man. I hadn't seen me, so overcome with my curiosity, I decided to sneak up and take a peek inside its robes. Um... It noticed immediately and flew into a rage. How dare you embarrass me like that, it bellowed. You'll soon see how you like it. With that, it stormed off. Ever since that day, my life has been one embarrassment after another. There was no doubt in my mind that this is the work of the Legger Demand and the terrible curse it placed upon me. When I start my prayers at chapel, I suddenly need a lavatory. If I try to talk to a lady, I become so distracted that I forget what to say. And in combat, I am struck dumb with thoughts of previous failures. Mark my words, dear reader. This is the most embarrassing curse in all of Erdria. I call it Shypox. Alas, even my powers of imagination have been rendered cringe-inducingly weak by it. And now... Even as I write this, I realize my britches have been unfastened this whole time. Truly, this curse is a force to be reckoned with. I think you're an idiot and a perv. Going around. Like, I don't care. Like, oh, I want to go check out this monster. You were peeking inside of its robes. What's wrong with you? You have problems. A storm from the north. 
Immediately identifiable by their fierce and blood coloric curdling war cry, the vicious Vikings are known to many as the terror of the Northern Seas. They are known for their love of pillage and plunder, and the stories tell of their sailing up and down Adria's northern coastlines, bringing chaos and ruin to every town and village in their wake. But such bloodthirsty raiders comprise only a small part of the Viking population. The majority of this hardy people are honest men and women, traders of considerable competence. Should you ever happen to encounter a member of this intriguing tribe, be sure to greet them with a warm smile and a full goblet. Do so, and you will have a stalwart ally, ally for life. Excellent. Keep a full goblet on hand at all times. That is an urn, not a goblet. Okay. Can I... Where is it? Did I miss it? Well, where... Um... Oh, there... Oh my god. I did miss it. Walked right by it. I like how the pigs don't seem to mind my presence at all. Fancy. Oh, oops. I'm sorry to disturb your studies, little piggies. Ow. Finally. Oh, you ruined it, little pig. Boom was nicely healed. And stay down. Uh is class in session just leave out you guys alone ooh i make which gear okay so which way do i want to go this is a dead end and it doesn't look like there's anything on the bookshelf so i'm feel like i should smack this thing so horrible. It's a professorus. Oh my god. Well, of course it put people to sleep. Why wouldn't it? That's right. Class is dismissed. Ooh, what's going on in here? Ooh, stairs. Oh, there's the third book. Can't read it. Applied Ring Theory, Aging Yggdrasil. Cut down a tree, and upon the exposed stump, you will see a pattern of rings, the number of which will be equal to the number of years the tree has lived. But what of Yggdrasil? Were we to fell the greatest and most ancient of trees, would we see such rings? And how many might there be? Just how many years has the world tree been up there watching over us all? I suspect that the existence of the, yeah, the existence of our aborescent guardian predates that of even Erdria itself. 
that its history stretches back further than mere human minds are capable of comprehending. I would agree with that assessment, sir. Hey. I made earrings. Well, I didn't make earrings. I know how to make earrings. I guess we could just go upstairs. Hi. You didn't see anything. Oh. Oh, crap. You mimic. Uh, ow? I hate you so much. Back on your feet now. Crap. Oh my god. Would you please go away? Okay. Oh my good lord, I hate you so much. your feet now. Oh, you're still alive. You have no idea how much I hate you. Oh, stop it. Victory! I don't like mimics at all. Jeez. So rude. Tending to be treasure chests. Okay, Curios of the Lost Kingdom. Many hundred of years ago, before the kingdom that stood on the site of No Wat, was reduced to ruins. Its wizards created some of the most advanced magical devices our world has ever seen. The nation's chancellor and his loyal devotion to king and country invested greatly in the development and distribution of vast numbers of these artifacts, many of which have survived to this day. Among them, perhaps the most commonly encountered nowadays are the magic doors that protect vaults and store strong rooms the world over, and which can only be opened with a fabled magic key. Imagine the bankers and quartermastersmith's dismay when no what fell and the chancellor disappeared forever along with the key they so desperately needed. Yes, yes. So terrible. Okay, well, found the button. Please do not be a mimic. 
sorry. That treasure chest is alive. Not treasure chest. Statue. Uh, I was unaware that the statues were alive. Now I'm freaked out. We gotta go back down. Can I just jump through? No. All right, so. Is, is it was it that? Is that what I needed? Confused. Oh my goodness. All right. No, it doesn't work now. But I can't get. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. like, all the way back down or something? Okay, no, we're, okay, we're on the other side now. I think. Oh, oh! This should be very useful indeed. It is the great mage's account of how he imprisoned the witch in the grimoire. Let's see now. The magic of the sorceress was passing strong. Even with all my energies, I could neither conquer nor constrain her. And so I did conspire with a great enchanted beast that by its incorporation of a piece of the witch's magic, I might by my small strength subdue her. Yep. I'll bet you that was the uh, creature that we were fighting. Thereupon was the witch imprisoned in a book and laid to rest in the Royal Library of Sniffelheim. As for the beast, it haunts the nearby Hexwood to this day. I see. So, even the greatest mage of the Age of Heroes needed the help of a magical creature to seal the witch away. A great enchanted beast? Well, you certainly met one of those in the Hexwood. That thing that was supposed to be the witch's pet. Oh? Tell me, what did this creature look like? Hmm. A rounded white body with a golden mane. Two pointed tusks jutting from an enormous jaw. Let me guess, there's a picture. Uh, how can you have been so foolish? The monster you defeated was the very same one that kept a part of the witch's power. Oops. Maybe he should have taught it English. It's not his fault. Queen Frizabel told us it was on the witch's side. She said it guarded her against intruders. Is this true? 
But why would Her Majesty say such a thing? Hold on. I'm sure I've seen that symbol somewhere before. Wasn't it on the front of the book the Queen was reading when oh. we first met her? Thank you, Veronica. This? Why, this is the Sorcerer's Seal. It is a ward placed on all the forbidden books of the Great Library. Which means that book the Queen was reading was forbidden. Wait, what if it was the book the witch was sealed away in? What if... Oh, no! Thank you, Veronica. We need to go back to Sniffleheim and talk to the Queen. I've got a feeling there's some funny business afoot. Incredibly funny business, in fact. Oh, but first, books. Oh, ye a forbidden deed. Of ye forbidden deed. Wow, okay. B mo mo bleh, most forbidden. Bleh, terrible power. Uh, times. Shattered. World. Child. Fall to ruin. The pages are faded and torn beyond the point of legibility. Bad stuff. That's what it says. It says bad stuff. Of spirits and ye plain beyond. This tome concerneth realm, all but invisible. However, within dwelleth spirits or sprites, faint, yet mayhap even time itself. Okay, so that's referencing the weird fading in and out critters of ye first age. Long, long ago, age of gathered together, lo, ye forgotten, people lost to time. Huh. Interesting. Hey, you like paths to the entrance, but where is it? It's I don't know. I'm just gonna go this way! Dang it. Uh. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh, I probably should have cast a spell on it. It didn't have bounce. Which I assume is a reflect spell. And I still didn't do it. Um, ow. Score one for the good guys! Okay, well, that's blocked. All right, then. Uh, let's check it in here real quick. Uh, ooh. I haven't been in here. Nice. Stalwart Stone. There once was a world in which there was a kingdom, in which there was a town that had become then brought to the brink of destruction by monster attacks more times than it could be counted. Life was so hard for the poor villagers, and fear and stress so great that they pled with the wisest man among them, a hunched, gray, old man, to do something. The old man thought, and he thought, and he thought some more. He could not save the village by the strength of his own arm, did not know how to fight, he was far too old to learn. So he set his mind to seeking out another solution. Lost in thought, 
He paced hither and yon through the village until he tripped upon a small stone and fell flat on his backside. That is when the idea struck him. This tiny stone was so sturdy and strong, it brought a man hundreds of times its size to its knees. Imagine what a piece of rock hundreds of times bigger again might do. And so the old man got to his feet, and though dust and mud still covered his hands and face, he swore then and there to make a mighty stone warrior powerful enough to protect the town. And then it backfired upon him. And it murdered everyone. Treasure. Delightful! Spatters of molten gob globules. Excellent. Always what I have wanted. Alright, well, we are out of there, and that's gonna be the end of the episode. I'm gonna go back down to the, uh, the nice place where we stayed. I'm gonna save the game. We'll continue and go talk to our wonderful friend, the, uh, the queen, in the next episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!